Hey there, welcome to Scribeware's second tutorial video. This one is going to be about using descriptive pull downs uh, to complete your home inspection report. Uh, so we've just loaded the uh, client and property information page. We're all ready to do a report. You'll notice that on the left margin here, these are the chapters in the report. Uh, so for this demonstration, we'll just zoom all the way to the plumbing chapter. Um, so I, I've noticed that uh, a lot of houses, sometimes the big ones, they'll have you know two, three water heaters. So we're going to fill out uh, the descriptive pull down in the water heater section to give you an idea that work. You just click on these and you, and you have options here. So let's say the house had three water heaters, maybe two tanks uh, and a tankless water heater, and they were made by you know A.O. Smith, uh, Bradford White, and uh, let's see maybe Renai down here was the tankless one. Uh, in Washington State, we're required to record the water temperature. I always find that's actually really confusing when there's three water heaters in a house because it's you're never totally clear which one is, you know, they could be three different temperatures. Uh, but we'll just put 120 degrees um, uh, water temperature and then size, you know, maybe one was 50 gallons, the other one was 40 gallons, and then the last one is tankless. Uh, we'll just put that in and then the age, let's say they're all relatively new, maybe 2014, 2014, this is a 2014 build. Energy source, maybe electricity, electricity and gas. And then temperature relief valve, we're required to report on these. Um, I like to uh, say that they were um, present but not tested. Uh, I personally don't like to, um, to, to test the temperature pressure relief valves, but if, if you want to, um, you could uh, erase that and just uh, put it as tested if you like. And so you can type into any of these pull downs. You can either use the pull down or type in. So another example of that up here under um, the main water shutoff, you, you know, we've got a list of places where it'd be shut off, but maybe you want to say it's above the water heater. You can just type that in. So uh, every one of these observations can just be typed typed in, if that makes sense. Now, the logic of the report is such that um, if you're doing a section, like let's say your house, um, you're doing a house that <clears throat> does not have a crawl space yet, there's a crawl space chapter. So if you go here and we, we look at the whole crawl space chapter, you'll notice that none of the descriptive pull downs are filled out which means there's basically nothing written in this crawl space chapter. So the logic of the entire report is if you don't fill anything into a section, we're calling this a section, it won't print when you go to publish the report. And if you have nothing in a chapter, it won't show the chapter either. So, and that logic carries throughout the entire report. Um, if that, that makes sense. Uh, then we could just fill these out so you get another sense of it. We crawled the crawl space today. There was a plastic vapor barrier, exterior wall vents. Uh, posts and footings were standard. Insulation type fiberglass. R30, moisture conditions, none noted. And so that'd be clean inspection there. But it gives you some idea of how the, those, uh, those pull downs work. So you might be asking uh, why we're using these pull downs uh, in the home inspection report. And the pull downs are really, they're, they're, des they're based off of the, the ASHI national standards and Washington state standards for requirements, things that we are required to report on as part of our home inspection. So these really help keep you out of trouble, make sure you're, you're doing a compliant home inspection. They serve as also a really nice checklist that sort of, if you, you know, I really try to always get these filled out on site because uh, they just help me make sure that I've looked at, at everything I'm required to look at. I mean, a good example is it's easy to forget, you know, where to find where the main water shutoff is, uh, make sure the pipes are insulated. In our state, we're required to report on water temperature, so it gives you a place to do that. Uh, if you live in another state and you have specific requirements, it's really easy for us to add some of this and build a custom template for you that suits your state needs. Um, uh, but I, I also, you know, some home inspectors like to do a full narrative report uh, where um, all, a lot of this description is just kind of written out in sentences. And part of the logic of, of doing these pull downs in, with this description is to let it sort of fade into the background. This is important stuff that we report on. It's important that we acknowledge some of these these components and systems to a home. Uh, but I don't think 
our clients really want to have to read through paragraphs of descriptive text. They, they kind of want to get down to brass tacks and so sort of know what's wrong with the house. So uh, we really like this approach of kind of doing uh, pull downs for this and allowing it to kind of fade into the background a bit more. So I hope that makes sense of how we use descriptive pull downs in a Scryware report, why we use the pull downs, um, and how, how you can use them to eliminate uh, chapters that you may or may not use. Uh, so thanks for watching and uh, happy inspecting.